Hello everyone! I am here with a no makeup makeup look! So everyone's version of a no makeup makeup look is a little bit different. I know some people prefer to have, you know, really emphasize the eyes and do more of like a shadow thing and a contour and some people like want to throw on some BB cream and walk out the door. This is my own version of it. It's just like a very simple look. Like we don't need to reinvent the wheel here. And I'm going to do things a little bit different. I'm going to do more of a chit chat e-esque type video that is going to kind of walk you through what I do and tips and tricks on getting this look on my face right now. What else did I want to say? I don't remember. It's really hot in here, guys. I have like all my lights on and just like roasting. Just roasting right now. So I have talked enough. Let's just get into the whole no makeup makeup look and go. So the first product I'm going to put on my skin is the NYC BB Cream. And this is great because it has a little bit of a bronze tint to it. So not only is it a BB Cream, so it's going to smooth out everything on your skin and add primer and SPF and all those great things that a BB cream does, but it's also a bronzer, so you're eliminating the whole bronzer element to your skin routine as well. Bonus! Don't forget to blend it down into your neck as well, because otherwise you'll have a weird foundation line and a weird tan line. You're like, who just tans their face? Ooh, weird. Next is the concealer. Now, if you're gonna skip any step, it's probably gonna be the BB cream because I find that concealer will get rid of any of the dark circles, it'll clear up any imperfections. Not clear up, but you know what I mean cover them. That's the word I was looking for. And if you're choosing the right color for your skin or combining them, then you won't even notice it and it'll blend out smoothly when you apply powder on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually blend these two together because it kind of, I like to do a little bit lighter under the eyes and then more skin tone everywhere else, if that makes any sense. And I'm going to use a nice fluffy brush for this because I find that works best for this concealer in particular. And I'm going to apply it to the under eye area, sort of in a triangle shape under my eyes. Then I'm just going to cover any little imperfections that I have. I have a giant zit on my chin right here. I don't know if the camera is picking it up at all. I hope not because it hurts a lot. The most important part for a no makeup makeup look is having flawless looking skin. So if you have that in the bag, then get out of this video because I don't want to talk to you. No, I'm just kidding. But that's the part that you want to kind of focus your time and your energy on. And then the rest is just like little things here and there that I'll talk about in a sec. But that's, this is the most important step that we're going to put a lot of emphasis on. There concealed. And then I'm going to be using my favorite Rimmel concealer. This is the highlight and conceal duo thing that I am obsessed with. I'm just going to be applying it underneath my eyes and then on the lids as well. And it's just going to brighten the area and just make me look more awake. Next I'm going to add a little bit of color to my cheeks and I'm going to use the um, YSL Kiss and Blush and this is in the color 8. How original YSL. I really like this one in particular because it's very easy to blend out and I find if you're doing a no makeup makeup look you want your makeup to look very um, dewy and soft so the less powder on your face the better and so I like using more of a cream based blush for that purpose. Now you can totally skip this next part if you want something that's really really low key makeup wise but I like to add a little bit of highlight just because I feel like it makes your skin look really glowy and like just flawless but again if you want something that's like really really natural totally skip this step. I'm just going to use a cream based one this is by Sonia Kashuk and this is their um, highlighting stick in sparkling sands and I'm just going to apply it in sort of a C shape around my eyebrow and onto the tops of my cheekbones and blend it out. I'm going to be setting my makeup with a translucent powder and I'm using this one by Tarte which is the smooth operator clay one. It's just very fine and that I find is very good when you're using a no makeup makeup look. Not using, doing. That's what I meant. I'm not good with my words guys. So I'm going to be taking a big powder brush and this is one by Boomi. You guys ask me a lot what makeup brush I use. This is B-H-U-M-I. And I'm just going to be setting it just on my T-zone, just anywhere that I would tend to get oily. Now for the eyeballs, there's really two areas that I like to focus, um, eyebrows and lashes, and that's pretty much it. So for the brows, I just wanna brush them into place to begin with, and then I'm just gonna clean up any areas with a pencil. This is the Sigma one in the color Dressed Up, I think. It's kind of rubbed off, I use it a lot. I'm just going to perfect sort of the arch of my brow 
and then I'm just gonna brush everything into place. And then I'm just gonna set everything in place with a clear brow gel. This one's by Sonia Kashuk, but there are a ton out there that are really good. I always end up getting it in my hair, so annoying. And then for the eyeballs, not the eyeballs, the lashes, that's what I meant. I'm just gonna be curling them and then applying a brown mascara. And this one is by YSL, it's their baby doll mascara. What I'm gonna be doing is focusing the mascara on the ends of the lashes, which I know isn't how most people do it. Most people just apply it to the base of the lash and that creates a really nice full lash. But when I'm doing more of a no makeup makeup look, I want my lashes to look just naturally really long and by emphasizing the mascara on the tips of the lashes that creates the look of a more wide open eye and longer lashes and that's more of the look that I'm going for here. So this eye has the mascara on it and this eye does not. You can kind of see a little bit of a difference but it's not too crazy statement lashy. Now if you wanted to, this would totally be enough. Add some lip balm and you're done. I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight just as an alternative if you wanted to do something to kind of brighten up your eyes a little bit. And I'm gonna be applying it to the inner corners of my eyes, the inner third or so of my lid, a little bit under the brows, and it's just gonna make my eyes look a little bit more awake. And I'm gonna be using the Sonia Kashuk Highlight Stick, and this is the Dramatically Brightening Crayon. I don't know what the name is, but it's this one. It's a very unique looking product. So yes, this one. And then for the lips, there are a couple of different options. Some people like to add color to their lips and some people don't. It's kind of a matter of personal preference here. Um, if you want to go more of the color route, I highly recommend just adding some of the blush that you use and putting it on your lips and then putting just like a clear balm on top and that's a good way to go. I personally am gonna be using my tinted oil because <laughs> you guys know I'm kind of obsessed with these. And this is in the color Undress Me. It's just a really nice sheer wash of pink to the lips and I had to go downstairs and get it out of my purse because <laughs> it lives with me. And that is everything for my version of a no makeup makeup look. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more like natural makeup looks and if you liked this one. And let me know what you think of this format, doing more of a chit chat-esque video than a voiceover video. Let me know which one you guys prefer. I just like experimenting, testing out new ways of editing. Editing magic. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you, you in the camera, in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah. It is time for my March favorite, so without further ado, let's get into it. My hair now, guys. I like, I tried. I'm going with the whole like messy hair thing today. I'm gonna pretend it was on purpose, but it was merely by accident. And by accident, I mean I did not wash my hair today.